Hey guys, I want to show you my new toy. My wife got me a belated Father's Day present. Bam! Dremel 4000. I've had that Craftsman rotary tool for a little while that my dad let me borrow, but I really wanted the bad boy of the group. With that Craftsman one, it was either all or nothing. Turn it on and get 25,000 RPM and just pray for the best. With this bad boy, you can actually adjust the speed. Demonstration time. Like revving your engine. Um, that's really helpful when you're doing my carta, uh, especially when you're doing detail work, because if you have it spinning too fast, you will burn it. So the low speeds really help, especially for the little detail work, small sanding areas, and eventually I'm going to get into some possible engraving. So I've already tried a little bit on a old slab, an old spare piece, and Oh, it works so much better, so much more control at the low RPM. This one's got the little quick change on it. You just unscrew that and it slides up into place and loosens the little screw head there. You still can use the uh, good old fashioned mini wrench, but it's much easier to use that little detachment there. It's much faster and it doesn't bung up that edge so much. It came with a little handheld tool so you can grip it and get in there and do a little detail work. came with the uh, like the, the router kind of cutting tool that allows you to cut holes out like in drywall and different things. It's got a little cutting bit that pokes out of there. Let you do holes or some maybe some cut work on large slabs of micarta possibly. And this is uh, just a guide, just a drilling guide. It's got a little depth thing on it there. And you've got the circle cutter slash straight edge for cutting things just like a like a jigsaw does with the same bit that this uses, which is helpful. We're gonna be cutting a lot of you know my card obviously in different project wood that I can zip right through now without getting out the crusty old jigsaw. This will do it a lot quicker and quieter. And oh yeah, the edge sharpener with the grinding wheel in there and sticking, I don't know, I don't know if I'd ever use it on one of my knives, but maybe some uh, garage tools or something. Yeah, we'll see how it works. I don't know if I'll ever actually use that, but it came with it. Bought it down at the old Home Depot. Been going back there quite a bit. A buddy of mine's a manager, so he takes care of me. And it came with all the other normal stuff. A couple grinding stones, sanding bits, little detail bits. And we'll show you. One of the key reasons I bought it was for these guys right here. This is the bit that does the cutting. This is the bit for small engraving. And then there's even a smaller engraving bit. Very small. So, real happy about that. I've been wanting to do some extra detail work on my handles and stuff that I couldn't do before so that's going to help with that uh, so that's that I'm real happy about that that's my new toy I'll be 
doing a lot of work with that. Also, I wanted to mention uh, Chuck, your package is in the mail. John, over at Three River Blades, your package is in the mail. And Mr. Mike Gavick, over there at Gavco International, haha, -ha, your package is also in the mail. So if one of you guys happens to catch this video, you might actually catch it after because it should be there within probably two days so let me know when you guys get it so i know that it's there and taken care of and let me know what you think when you get it all right guys thanks a lot have a good night